My name's Robert Carranza. I'm a record producer. We're at the Solar Plastic Plant Studios. That's 100% solar powered. Uh, I share it with a partner, Jack Johnson, and we make records here. I'm a plug-in user, but I'm not a plug-in lover. To me, the merger of those two sounds is, is interesting, and I think we're, we're, there's very few people who are doing that now. People are highly, highly capable of doing things with plugins, and one of the things that I keep coming back to are EAE stuff. It's the old and the new together. So even if I'm in a room that I'm not sure how it sounds, cranking that preamp up, getting the level right, taking a, what I call a, like a sonogram or like an x-ray of a sound, at least I know when I come back here, I didn't fuck it up too hard. Because for a while, it was a really wild west of game structures. Like no one knew, like everything was just like, turn it up, crank it up, and it sounds great. Well, you, know, you can do that stuff if you want, but you should all go back it off a little bit and let it breathe, and all of a sudden, you know, this lush sound comes through. I think the VAA stuff does that absolutely perfectly. One of my greatest lessons I learned was from Los Lobos. The remote truck in the Fillmore came in, mixed it. They were like, did you listen to your rough mix? The minute I heard the rough mixes, I just tear everything down. We're starting over. It's like, you know, just that first impression that you had is what, you know, worked. And that, you know, so a band like that, it's like you have to listen to the musicians all the time. And I think that's, you know, where we're losing a little bit of that from people because there's this weird take of like an engineer, a mixer, a producer, and those lines are being blurred. Well, one of the things about the MPLs that I find most versatile in the 500 series now is that they're portable. Uh, we ended up taking them out on the road for the live show because if you want that sound, you can't beat it. It's just affordable. It's uh, the sound you want. It's a little case. You take it out and you've got two power supplies with you and you go and you're ready to go and you've got the sound that you were using in the studio. But the overall tone of things, you just can't beat what the preamps sound like.